Hello everyone and welcome to CWL Builds. I'm Caleb and today we're making the Leviathan Axe from God of War. Now this is a pretty long video, so sit back, relax, and I'll see you at the end. I start with a full size printout of the axe and then for the interior structural core I'll be using a piece of PVC pipe and wearing gloves, I heat it up and form it to the right shape. I'll be coating this PVC with strips of EVA foam so I paint on a layer of barge cement onto the PVC as well as the foam strips and attach them. Using my knife I cut away the bulky corners and save me some time on the belt sander. Here I'm adding some extra material because my original foam layer wasn't quite thick enough. My belt sander takes off a lot of material and forms the axe handle into roughly the final shape. This number 8 aluminum threaded rod will be used as support for both the front and the back of the blade. Using my full size cutout as a template, I trace the blades on EVA foam. Using my Dremel tool, I get rid of some of the texture on the back of the EVA foam so that it glues together better. Using a grinding bit on my Dremel tool, I 
hollow out a small channel for the aluminum rod to go in. Using barge cement, I glue both sides together. I mark in where I want my edge bevel to be, then using my belt sander, I sharpen the axe. The opposite side of the axe is done the same way as the bigger side. I need to add this decorative part of the axe. I believe it's called an axe lip or a lug. And I need to recess the foam so that the decorative lug on top will sit into the wood and look natural. I use 5mm foam to make this decorative axe lip. This piece of sharpened PVC pipe is used to make this decorative circle in the center of the axe lip. Then using barge contact cement, I attach the axe lip to the handle. The overall shape of the axe is complete now, and now we can start working on the detail parts like the pommel as well as the axe head. Using my printout as a reference, I go in and draw all the runes, and then using a soldering iron and wearing a respirator, I carve them away.
using a mix of matte Mod Podge and brown acrylic paint, I cover the handle and this both seals in the EVA foam as well as fills in any imperfections that I may have created while sanding. After masking off the head of the axe, I can go in using a lighter brown spray paint and a dry brush and dry brushing on some texture to make it look a little more like wood. I do the same thing just now with black spray paint. Now I can reverse the masking and we can start working on the head of the axe. Now for this I'll be using a black Plasti Dip and giving a few good coats before adding a silver spray paint on top. I use this bronze spray paint to add detail to the runes as well as the other decorative parts of the axe head. Now I weather the entire axe head using a black wash and then lightly dab it off with a dry paper towel. Final touch is to brush on some silver highlights, but before I finish this axe I ended up actually going back and using my airbrush and some lighter silver paints and making the axe head a bit lighter because it was a little too dark for me. Using this fluorescent blue glow powder, I mix with Mod Podge and then I paint the mixture into my crevices that I made with my soldering iron. This is the first test of the glowing powder in the dark. The final step is to add a handle wrap made from this cotton that I weathered off camera and Kratos's Leviathan Axe from God of War is now complete.
Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, put them down in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you guys. If you build one of these yourself, I'd love to see it. Send it over to my Instagram at CWLBuilds. Same as my channel name. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.